welcome dear viewers to the video on a dissolution cue point and a dissolution release profile as in the pharma industry we are using these terms for dissolution testing we know the dissolution cue point we know the dissolution profile or dissolution release profile but many of the times we forget to understand the exact differences applications and regulatory requirements for the dissolution cue point and uh, dissolution release profile so in this uh, in this uh, short video we are going to learn all about the dissolution cue point and the profile so let's start with the introduction about the cue point Q means the quantity and Q point you can remember like quantitative points and quantity of what so quantity is the release of the drug or a released quantity of the API or drug from the formulation or you can say percent dissolved quantity of the drug from the formulation Q points or quantitative points refer to the specific time points during the dissolution test at which the percentage of the API released or percentage of the API dissolved is measured. So you might be knowing about the Q point of 80%, Q point of 70%. At 15 minute or at 45 minute or at 30 minutes, so that is the Q point. And Q point is a single point for the release measurement or dissolution measurement. Q point help in establishing the dissolution profile for formulation and allows the comparison between the two different batches, two different formulations. Two different composition batches and batches of different manufacturing processes. Example of Q point is like Q point of 15 minute for the formulation containing highly soluble APIs and immediate release formulations. Q point of 30 minute, Q point of 45 minute, Q point of 30, uh, 60 minute, or Q point of the 90 minutes. Example of Q point is like not less than 80% of the drug or API is released or dissolved within 30 minutes or at or on at 30 minutes time point. So this is the example of Q point. Now, uh, what is the regulatory requirement or what is the uh, regulatory aspect of the Q point? So regulatory bodies uh, such as FDA, EMA, ANVISA and other regulatory bodies or authorities often require certain Q point data to ensure the consistent release characteristics and the bioavailability of the drug products. Always remember that the Q points for generic formulations are designed based on to the release profile of the bioequivalence batch or clinical study batches for NDA or innovator formulations or novel formulations. So Q point comes from the bio study batches dissolution data. Now what are the applications of Q point in the formulation development? Q points are used to determine if the formulation meets the predetermined criteria for bioequivalence or not. Q point is also used to release the batch into the market. Q point measurement helps in making adjustment in the formulations to achieve desired release rates. So this is regarding the Q point. Now coming to the release profile. Understand that Q point is a single time measurement of the percent drug release or dissolved. Now we are coming to the release profile. So this is multiple time points. 
the dissolution release profile is a graphical representation showing a cumulative percentage of the drug release or drug dissolved over a period of time from the doses from like tablets capsules suspension soft gelatin capsules so in this figure you you can see that percent drug dissolved is there or percent drug release is there and versus the time point how much amount of the api is dissolved in the specific time that is measured that multiple measurement graph is prepared that graph is called as profile typically plotted with the time on x axis and the percentage of drug released or percentage of drug dissolved onto the y axis this curve or graph help to visualize how quickly and efficiently the drug is getting released or the drug is getting dissolved from the formulation so this is the release profile release profile can be divided into categories like initial release steady state or completion of the release so early phase of the profile where the rate of dissolution can indicate the formulation solubility that is initial release steady state is the phase where the release rate stabilizes it reflects the formulation's release kinetics so that is a steady state release and completion of release so this is the end part of the release profile the end point where maximum percentage of drug release is observed that is completion of release typically it is above 90% 95% or 100% types of release profiles release profiles can be ir release er release modified release control release sustained release prolonged release or delayed release so immediate release means uh, the release profile or dissolution which is rapid or very rapid like for very rapid dissolution profile it will be above 85% within 15 minutes or for rapid profile it will be above 85% in 30 minutes control release uh, profile features a slower release rate and it is designed to maintain the therapeutic levels over extended period comparative analysis can be done with the dissolution release profiles dissolution profiles can be compared between the different formulations different batches using the statistical models like similarity factor calculation f2 calculation bootstrapping method msd method so different methods can be used to see whether the dissolution profile is similar or not regulatory considerations for dissolution release profile dissolution profiles are essential in the stability studies in the formulation optimization and regulatory submissions for demonstrating the product performance by performing the dissolution profiles throughout the stability and for the bio batches clinical batches pivotal study batches you can have the design for few point if you are performing the dissolution release profile at multiple time points then you can select the q point based on to the data understanding the dissolution q point and release profile is very important and crucial for ensuring the formulation meet the therapeutic expectation and regulatory requirements so these provides the insight into the release mechanisms also and uh, what is the stability and what is the potential efficacy of the drug products so few point and release profile are very important to be understood by the pharma professionals now coming to the difference between q point and release profile so q point is specific time point at which the percentage of the drug released or drug dissolved is measured while release profile means a graphical representation showing a cumulative percentage of drug release over some time period 
Cue point is used to assess the specific release milestones of the formulation. And resolution profile is used to visualize the entire release processes of the drug from the formulation. Cue point is typically focused on predetermined time points like cue point at 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or 120 minutes. It is product specific. And release profile represents data across a time continuum showing release at various intervals. Then Q point is used for compliance with the regulatory standards for bioequivalence and quality. And dissolution profile is essential for stability studies, formulation optimization, and regulatory submissions. So Q point is generally a quality control test. And release profile is used in throughout the product life cycle from formulation development phase till the life cycle completion. In SUPAC also, dissolution release profile is required. Then Q point is a numerical values indicating the percentage of drug release or dissolved at each Q point while the profile is a curve or graph plotting cumulative percentage of the drug release or dissolved against time. Q point helps in determining if a formulation meets the specific release criteria. However, dissolution release profile provides insight into release kinetics and behavior over an entire dissolution process. Example of Q point is like Q point of 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 90 minutes, 60 minutes, or 120 minutes. And there is a specific requirement of percent drug release at that particular time point. For example, not less than 80% of the drug released in 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is the Q point, and at Q point, the drug release is 80%. S1, S2, S3 criteria, L1, L2, L3 criteria are applicable to the Q point. Dissolution release profile uh, might show percentage like 30% at 10 minutes, 60% at 30 minutes, and these are plotted over times. So, dissolution release profile is there for modified release formulations like sustained release, extended release, with minimum of three time points. So, for modified release formulations, the release profile is to be done. This is the information for dissolution Q point and dissolution release profile. Always consider that dissolution release profile or multiple time point dissolution studies are required to be done for comparing the dissolution similarity. And Q point is the percent release at certain time point which is fixed like 15 minutes, 30 minutes and Q point is used in the quality control test while release profile is used throughout the life cycle of the product. I hope you might have got good idea for the Q point and the profile. I have also made a single video on dissolution Q point. So that also you can refer and get the complete information about this topic. Thank you for watching the video and I request you to please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.